the work of the cross, the work of purchasing salvation. And incidentally, the priests didn't have any chairs in the tabernacle. They didn't have any chairs in the temple because their work was never finished. Jesus, when he arose, sat at the right hand of the Father. His work is finished as Savior. But his work continues as intercessor. And he is living. Why? To make intercession for us. That's his purpose for existence. He's already saved us. But he knows that we still need his help. We need to be finding ourselves an intercessor. So why am I going to bother the saints and Mary and others and myself and, and so-and-so to pray for me? I don't dare pray for myself because I don't have the standing with God that so-and-so does, my dear mother, my grandmother. Nonsense. God wants to hear from all of us through Jesus. Amen. That's why you and I pray in the name of Jesus and through him, Lord. So let's not waste his time by interceding because he's too busy and nobody's going to pray to him for the next hour. What is he doing for the next hour? As far as intercession, he's doing nothing. What's his reason for being up there for the next hour? To intercede. He wants us to intercede. I've told you the story of this ministry that's now over 30 years old and suddenly has taken a turn. I was talking to my former secretary, Barbara, who lives in Pennsylvania, and um, I sent out a prayer request later on in the day, but I wanted to do a quick one, and I sent it out to five people. And I thought, gee, will five be enough? And I thought back a year that this ministry of intercession by email and by texting started a year ago. Five people. Amen. And that went on for months and months and months. And five people were five people, and all you need is two or three. All you need really is one. God can hear that, but five is great. And then as you know, somewhere around November, December, God began to say, ask this one. Talk to that one. Ask the other one. Today, at 4 o'clock, I will send out the daily prayer and praise report to 142 families. Mm -hmm. And it's growing by the day. It's growing into multiple states. It's now in multiple countries. And God alone knows where he wants it to go. Amen. I thought to myself, most of my day is spent doing that. Yeah. I thank God the administration has been long since learned. I'm going through the Bible my fifth time, and so I still study, but not as much as the first, second, or third, or fourth time. Most of the time is spent in intercession. Praying for the people, counseling the people, getting these requests there, and you're doing my work for me as well. You're helping me through prayer to answer these needs. Great to have the pastor pray for you. How about 142 other families to support that? We're seeing tremendous results. What's the point? Why waste the time in all of that? Well, if we cut out the intercession here in this ministry, and let's just concentrate on administration and teaching, forget the intercession, what does that have to say about Jesus and his present ministry? His present ministry is intercession. So when you folks are praying and praising God, whether it's on our prayer team or you have your own means on your own or other teams, you are working with Jesus in the most important work there is to do. Yes, administration is important. So is teaching, feeding dogs, taking care of kids. But intercession is what Jesus is doing, and that's what he wants us to work with him on as the kings and priests. Verse 26, for such a high priest was fitting for us. Jesus is fitting. He is holy. He is harmless or innocent. He is undefiled. He is separate from sinners. And he has become higher than the heavens. What a recommendation on your job application. Can you imagine that? Putting forth your strong points. I am holy, I am harmless, I am undefiled, I am separate from sinners. We'll work for a little money, that'll help too. And uh, I'm also higher than the heavens. That'll get you uh, <laughs> nowhere in the job economy probably, but that is Jesus Christ, and that is our high priest. And as we come to the Father in his name, that's how the Father receives us. 
So when that team of 142 people get working on those prayer requests today and those praise reports, they're going to come in the name of Jesus, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, higher than heavens, and the Father is going to say, welcome, and I am all ears. Let's get going. And verse 27, regarding Jesus, he does not need daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifices, first for his own sins and then for the people's. For this he did once for all when he offered up himself. Those priests had to first of all offer a sacrifice for themselves. Then they had to offer it for the people. Jesus offered himself once as a sacrifice, not for himself. He was sinless, but for all. That's why when I do this intercession or I pray, and I'm praying throughout the day, most of the day working on these requests, I don't just say, now, Father, I ask you to do so and so, but I like to get the old cleansing done. Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me for any sins that I've done, mm -hmm. particularly when I looked at the ugly attitude towards one of the dogs who was doing something naughty, whatever. Forgive me for all things known and unknown. Get yourself cleansed first. Then you offer up others. Jesus didn't have to do that. For the law appoints as high priests men who have weakness, but the word of the oath, which came after the law, appoints the son who has been perfected forever. So Aaron and all the Levites were weak, even as you and I are. But when God gave that oath, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. That was about 500 years after the law. It appointed the son of God, Jesus Christ, who has been perfected forever and ever. Will I outgrow my need for Jesus this year? Will I find a better high priest to take care of my needs? Can I represent myself before the throne of God as a good advocate? People are trying to do that. You need to have a high priest. One thing I learned as a lawyer, and for those who did not do this, You'll never forget it. Did you ever go to court and represent yourself? I don't mean a traffic violation. I mean a serious matter with an attorney on the other side and a judge, perhaps a jury, and rules and regulations. If you ever tried that, what is the judge going to say to you? Get yourself a lawyer. I'm not here to teach you the law. Go to law school if you want that. Get yourself a lawyer. You don't know the procedures. You cannot effectively represent yourself. And that's what the Father is saying to us as well. If we come to God on our own good works, good looks, and whatever, he'll say, get yourself a lawyer. Get yourself an intercessor. Get yourself a high priest. Somebody who has standing before this court. Somebody who's sinless, who's perfect, who's undefiled, whom I have already approved and made an oath that that person can practice before this bar forever. And there's only one lawyer, there's only one intercessor, one priest, who has the qualifications to go before the court of Almighty God, and that is Jesus Christ. And again, back to our lesson, and we close with this. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, we are grateful for this lesson. It's very meaty. It takes a lot of working carefully through the phrases, but there's gold in these verses. And we've learned today that Jesus is the superior person, the superior priest. He's the one Lord who has the superior priesthood. and He's the one who ever lives to make intercession for us. Let us come boldly to you, Jesus, on our behalf and on the behalf of others. And Lord, if you're busy all day in intercession and we're working with you, that means you're going to use us in intercession. And thank you for what you're doing in our lives and thank you for what you're doing with this Reach Out Prayer and Praise team. I never would have ever thought this would be our major work right now, but it is to the glory of God. Lord, bless us as we bless you and thank you for being our great, superior, high priest. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.